in-camera transitions. What the heck are those? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And you know what? I just did an in-camera transition. I bet you didn't even notice. You know what I did? During the break while my intro ran, I went like this. There you go. What we're doing basically is instead of editing and putting a transition in where from one clip to the next clip, we might have a, a wipe or it might do a little blur or we can get super fancy with the pixelated stuff or you can just do something like change your position on screen. So now when I sit down to edit, all I have to do is cut here, cut there, take out the part in the middle, but if you change your physical location on the screen, boom, transition is done. So this is a jump cut. There, that was a jump cut. It's super, super simple, and thank God they're really popular right now because they require no additional work. You're going to find a spot in your video, cut it, go to the next spot, cut it, take what was in the middle, and throw it away. This is awesome for when a car goes by really, or the dog barks, or the Amazon delivery guy rings your doorbell, or your phone rings because you forgot to put it on vibrate. It requires very little skill. <laughs> the most that you need to remember is to pause before you start speaking and pause after you end speaking. So don't record your video with one big long run on sentence where you never come up for air because then when you try to edit it later, it's really hard to get a good splice in between. See, car going by. I'm gonna cut this part out. Oh, not a car, dump truck. That's why it was so loud. So when you're going to start filming, press the record button and then go, hey everyone, I'm Karen Carr. And that way you've got dead air before you start talking. And then when you finish your sentence, pause. Now it makes it really easy to edit. It's really just personal preference, but it's to make the end product more engaging because we got to keep the viewer watching. If you make this killer video and people don't watch it, what's the point? Now I'm not a professional cinematographer. I have never taken any photography training. This is all self-taught and most of this crap I learned off of YouTube. God bless YouTube. So if I can learn how to do it, you can learn how to do it. And you can do it with the most basic of editing software programs. I use iMovie. iMovie came free with my computer. I'm thinking of upgrading to something a little more fancy, but I'm gonna hold off making that announcement until I actually download it and use it and try it for a while to see if I'm gonna stick with it or if I'm going back to the good old iMovie. So those are some transitions that you can do during the editing process that are really, really simple and don't really require a whole lot of extra skill. I'm Karen Carr and I teach real estate agents how to grow their business using YouTube. So if you found this helpful, give it a like, give me a comment down below and tell me what you learned today and subscribe to my channel already because I put out good stuff once a week and I know you don't want to miss it.